Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and I am here at Fall Creek Falls State Park and I'm attempting to get down to the bottom of the beautiful waterfall here. Not Fall Creek Falls, but the other falls, which for some reason I have forgotten the name of, so I'll put it on the screen. And I made a video trying to get to the bottom of this waterfall once before on the channel which was a complete fail there's a trail here i'm on the pawpaw trail right now which is supposed to be easy but it leads to a trail called the cable trail which is um, ridiculously crazy it goes straight down the side of the mountain and uh, last time i got about a third of the way down it and there was a place where you had to basically scale the mountain about seven or eight feet and this cable that you're supposed to hold on to was uh, out of reach. So I uh, turned around. Now I know lots and lots of people, uh, even people who are less healthy than I am, have made it down that trail, but I just wasn't comfortable with it. So today I am back uh, and I brought a rope. So I'm going to try to use this rope to help me negotiate that section of the trail. But first I have to get there. So I'm gonna keep on hiking and I'll show you the cable trail soon. Okay, I'm coming up to the R. Miller Bridge, which goes across this little creek. And this creek is what goes to the taller of the two waterfalls that I'm trying to get to the bottom of. We've had a lot of rain the last few days, so it should be flowing really good. The waterfall should look really good. If the cable trail was a staircase trail, it'd be a lot easier, but it's not. Okay, I'm coming up to the cable of the cable trail right now. And as you can see, It is really steep down through there. So I'm gonna put the camera up and start scaling this thing. Well, I've made it to the spot where I chickened out last year and uh, it's daunting to think about doing this even with a rope. Let me show it to you. I made it down the section that I think is the hardest part. I ended up tying the rope to a root that allowed me to have something to leverage against as I step down these rocks right here. And uh, so I'm just gonna leave the rope here. And I think the rest of the way down shouldn't be too bad, I hope. I made it. I made it to the bottom of the cable trail. Well, there's still a few more steps, but I made it to the end of the cable anyway. Whoa. Yep, that's the good news. I made it to the bottom of the cable trail alive and well. The bad news is there's too much light. I should have left way earlier than I did. I left at seven o'clock in the morning, but I didn't want to leave earlier than that because last time I left before sunrise, I hit a deer and totaled my car. So that's why I'm here late, but I'm going to see what I can get of this right here okay so i've made it down here i kind of wanted to shoot from that side of the creek but with all the rain we've had i don't think i'm going to be able to get across so i've come as far as i can in this direction so i can get or try to get let me see there we go so i can try to get both waterfalls in the shot so i'm shooting at 17 millimeters and there's lens distortion so the waterfalls are kind of going this way so i'm going to have to uh straighten that up in lightroom but uh, I think when I'm, last time I was here, I shot from way up there at that overlook and I had to straighten that shot too. Um, the first shot I took was from a little bit further over there, kind of right at the base of the cable trail with just the big waterfall, which right now it looks, right now it looks like just one fall. When there's low flow, it looks like a triple falls. And then, uh, so I got a shot of it by itself and now I'm shooting both waterfalls. This location is really cool. Uh, they used it 
in the Jungle Book. Uh, and I, I, may, uh, I may show you a clip of that. Here is a clip from the 1994 Jungle Book. Here's the main character jumping off. And in the background, you can see Cane Creek Falls. And in the foreground, just briefly, you can see Rock House Falls there at Fall Creek Falls State Park, right where I'm just about to make some photos. I've come back a little bit further. I'm standing on this boulder. Let me see if I can get it in the shot. I'm standing on this boulder that's kind of a little ways from the edge. And from here, unfortunately, you can't get the tall and narrow waterfall in the shot, which I really want to do. But I've been making some, some photos from here of the larger, wider, shorter waterfall, which is really beautiful but the combination of the two is the best thing and i didn't mention in my previous clips i'm using a circular polarizer and a three-stop neutral density filter for all of these shots i made some photographs from other locations besides this one but these were the first ones that i actually liked here is a 25 millimeter shot and i had a polarizer on but i had it twisted to where it didn't work because i like the blue reflection on the water now here is a shot there was a lot of bright sunlight during this so i just kind of aim the camera at the places where the sunlight was bright so i had a bright waterfall and you can see a nice rainbow to the right of the falls in this shot just such a beautiful area and can you believe that's 85 feet tall that waterfall and now i've switched to the 10 stop neutral density and i've got kind of a center justified composition of the falls and this is the exact same shot as the previous one i just showed you this one's just cropped in a little bit closer another eight second shot okay i've come back here to kind of the first spot that i started at but i've i've walked out a little bit further let me show you another change i've made is i put the 10 stop neutral density filter on as opposed to the three stop and now i'm doing i'm not needing a really small aperture so i can shoot at f11 and i can do 20 seconds unfortunately the light over here on the other waterfall, which I can now see from my vantage point, there's not enough on it. So I may just wait until the light comes around, but I don't know how many hours that's gonna take. It could be argued that this is the best shot of the day. Uh, I know both my friend Ray and Heather have both told me that this is their favorite. And this is another 10 stop ND shot, eight seconds F8, 17 millimeters, both waterfalls, and there's a pretty good size rainbow in front of Cane Creek Falls there on the right. I had to do uh, a lot of work to get this composition and lighting to look even, but in the end, it was definitely worth I've it. I walked around the bank closer to the taller, narrow falls. I'm still not right at it, but man, I can feel the wind coming off of it. And there's the wider falls over that way. And my camera is still set up way down there. You probably can't even see it. And I have the, uh, the Bluetooth remote, the BRE1 Bluetooth remote, which I don't know if it'll work at this distance. And what I'm doing right now is, as you can see on the bright waterfall, the big waterfall has got a lot of sun on it and the narrow tall waterfall doesn't have any sun on it. And I'm gonna wait here a little while and hope to catch a cloud which would even the light up a little bit. But it seems to be getting less and less cloudy as the morning progresses. It's supposed to be, this afternoon, it's supposed to be fully sunny. So uh, this shot may not come out. Or it may come out and that waterfall may be ridiculously overexposed because I kind of set the camera up to expose for darker than present conditions. So uh, and it's like a five minute rock scramble to get back to the camera so i can't change the settings but uh, anyway i'm gonna wait here for a little while and maybe this will work in this selfie image i'm actually standing in the spot where i was standing when i made the video clip that you just saw and i am tiny in the frame look how tiny i am by that 125 foot tall waterfall rock house falls now I'm going to show you a raw image. This is the selfie that I liked much better than the previous selfie, although the other one might show scale better. This is the raw, and look at the difference. Here is the edited photo, 
and I'm a lot closer so it doesn't show the scale quite as much but I'm not so tiny in the frame that you can't even see me without having an arrow pointing at me. This is the second favorite photo of the day for me and a lot of people. All right, here I am at the base of the cable trail. I can see my rope is still up there, so that's good. So when I get to the impossible part, I'll have a little help. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get out of here right now. Well, I'm back at the hard part and there's a family coming down. I made sure to tell them I'm taking the rope with me. And they came on anyway. They got more guts than I do. Well, I made it past the hard part and the so did the family. And you know, I told them I was taking the rope with me so they barely used it on the way down. I don't think I could have made it down or up without that rope. So uh, I'm glad they are very skilled climbers because the rope's not gonna be here because I'm about to wind it up and take it with me. But uh, anyway, I'm almost to the top of this thing. Whew. Let's look down. There's the family down there. They're just about out of frame. They're almost to the bottom. Crazy, but worth it if you survive it because it is beautiful down there. All right, the cable trail is conquered. And I don't even mind that I used the cheat sheet in the form of this rope. Not one bit am I embarrassed about it. As a matter of fact, if you come here, I highly recommend that you do too. Whew, I'm exhausted. Time to do the easy hike back to the car and then an hour and a half drive home. If you like the content, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye from Fall Creek Falls State Park, Tennessee.